I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up your keybinds properly and setting up my optimal keybinds for Skywars slash Bedwars. So that's what we're learning today. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, make sure you leave a like so I know you do. And if it does help you out, make sure you share with your friends so it can help them out too. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Okay, so if you already have keybinds set up or you do not have any keybinds at all, you may or may not have your optimal keybind. What I mean by this is something that can be pressed easily on your keyboard without having to break from what you're doing and play effectively. So I've not got my keybinds set up yet, but I'm going to be setting them up alongside you, testing which ones are pretty good and stuff like that. So to get into your keybind settings, you want to go and press escape, press options, and go into the controls section. So here is what we're going to be focusing on mainly. Uh, you don't really need to change any of this unless you want to change your drop item. Okay, so first step is you want to make sure you have an inventory layout. So this is obviously on the left, the far left, and this is the far right, and all this is going through. So this is where I place my sword. So something which gets to my sword fast can be R. Now, something here, I usually place my blocks, and I'm going to find a key that works well to start placing my blocks, so maybe F, because I can press R for my sword and F to quickly bridge. Now, in my ninth slot, I usually have pearls, and I can scroll for like these keys to eat a golden apple or splash a potion. So, over here, I might do something like B, or let's try backslash. Backslash could be good, because you won't accidentally press it. Now, for these numbers here, you don't need to change these. Why, you might be asking. Because from R, you can scroll wheel to 2 and 3. From F, you can scroll to 4 and 3 and 6 and 7. And from backslash, you can go from 8 to 7. And it's all fine. So these don't need to be binded unless you have a specific block set up. And for example, I keep my pickaxe here, but I can just scroll wheel to that. And that would be good. Now let's hop into a game where we can test out these hotkeys and see if they are optimum. This is part 2 when we're going to find out. If the hotkeys are good now for this step we're going to be checking if we can easily hit our keys if we e if we can easily hit our keys without struggling or anything similar to that then we are fine there's nothing to worry about it won't come to you instantly to start hitting those keys so you may need to play a few games before you decide if you're struggling or not but remember you will struggle for a few games you will lose a few games but in the end of the day, you are practicing up to have optimum keybinds and that will help you out. Now, another thing you might want to do is you might want to think about your sensitivity. You may have too high a sensitivity for that. I'm going to be posting a video uh, this week as well or sensitivity based. How to find your perfect sensitivity for Minecraft so that you can actually move your mouse and not worry about it. Now, some of you may overlook the importance of keybinds, but they really do help out with swapping to your weapons faster and not having to... You just scroll wheel as much as you usually do. Okay, if this little short video helped you out at all, make sure you leave a like and tell me if it did help because it really does help me out looking at those nice comments, seeing that it did help you out with keybinds. Because seriously, keybinds are really important for playing video games. You might overlook them, but like I've stated, keybinds are extremely important. Subscribe for more tips like this and weekly uploads. I know I didn't upload for like two weeks, but I'm trying to pay back for it. I was just a bit sick. Wasn't feeling myself. So I'm back to it now. Weekly uploads at around 5 p.m. Uh, have a good night.